Insects and arachnids actually outnumber humans by around a million to one. It's no wonder why they come in such a wide array of shapes and forms. The following spiders are some you've probably never actually seen before. Especially number one, which is an insect that doesn't look like an insect at all. Stay tuned to find out what that is as we bring you the top 10 insects and spiders you won't believe actually exist. With all that said and done, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Giant Golden Orb Weaver Spider. Most bats feed on insects, or any other animals that it can manage to fit into its mouth, which includes spiders. But did you know that there is a species of spider that has turned the tables on these nocturnal flyers? A common sight when walking in the forests of Japan and India, this is the spectacular, but rather frightening, giant golden orb weaver spider, which are commonly called giant wood spiders or the bat-eating spider. Yeah, you, you heard me right there, they are called bat-eating spiders and for good reason. They are quite large, sporting a leg span of 8 inches, but it's their more impressive webs that are responsible for catching their nighttime prey. These guys can spin an orb-shaped web more than a meter across. Add to that the fact that spider silk is pound for pound stronger and tougher than steel, then you have a perfectly good bat trap. The thing is, they actually don't intentionally build webs to catch bats. They actually prefer smaller prey like flying insects. However, small bats accidentally run into these webs and get trapped. When this happens, these opportunistic hunters won't turn their noses up to a nice bat meal. Number 9. The Giant Weta Endemic to New Zealand, giant wettas are enormous bugs that are related to crickets. The largest giant wettas can weigh in excess of 70 grams or about 2.5 ounces, making them among the heaviest insects. Obviously, being as heavy as a mouse can only mean one thing. These giant creatures have lost the ability to fly, and although it looks like a cricket that had too much gym time, it can jump as well. They are pretty long too, with bodies measuring as long as about 4 inches and not including the legs and antennae. Aside from being absolutely huge, giant wettas also have other characteristics setting apart from other insects. For one, they breathe through their exoskeleton and they also happen to have their ears on their knees. Because these giants are only found on islands, they are an excellent example of island gigantism. And since they are only found on islands, they are also highly susceptible to extinction. In fact, New Zealand's giant weta population is currently in decline, landing these insects into the endangered species list, primarily due to predation by rats. Number 8. The Miramaracane Spider This spider is an incredible example of Batesian mimicry, when one animal deters potential predators by disguising as an unpalatable or dangerous animal of another species. In this case, it's a spider that looks like a weaver ant, an ant that's notorious for its painful bite, and also because they produce two different chemicals that increase the pain in the bite wound. They're also highly aggressive, so many birds, reptiles, and amphibians generally avoid them. On the other hand, the Miramakane spider is harmless and shy. However, it pretends to be just as tough by looking and walking almost exactly as a weaver ant. Its cephalothorax is modified so that it looks like the distinct head and thorax of an ant, and it has two black spots that mimic the ant's eyes. Its four legs mimic the ant's antennae, so the spider looks as if it only had six legs, like an actual ant. It is only found in India, China, and Southeastern Asia, but it's not the only ant-mimicking spider. Many other species are found around the world's tropics, and they imitate many different kinds of aggressive ant. Number 7. The Atlas Moth Common across the Malay archipelago, these bird-sized insects are considered the largest moths in the world. They're so big that their cocoons are occasionally used as purses in Taiwan. The total area of their wings can measure more than 60 square inches and their wingspans can measure at least one foot in length. They can also be over one inch thick. Despite their size, this is one moth that won't eat your clothes to shreds. These giants actually have no mouths and don't eat once emerging from their cocoons. All their adult life, all two weeks of it, they rely solely on the fat they stored while they were caterpillars. Or as I like to call them, glutton worms. Some say the moth is named after Atlas in Greek mythology. He was the titan condemned by Zeus to hold the sky upon his shoulders. The name refers to the sheer vastness of the moth's size. In China, the Catanese name for moth translates into snake's head moth, referring to the outer tips of the wings that look pretty similar to the head of a snake. Number 6. Maratas Valans 
Commonly known as the peacock spider, due to the brightly colored, circular flap in the male's abdomen, the male of this diminutive species raises his flap like a colorful fan and uses it to catch the female's attention, kinda like a peacock. It also vibrates its hind legs and abdomen for a more dramatic effect. There are numerous species belonging to this family of spiders, and new ones are constantly being discovered. Back in 2015, two new species were found in Australia that quickly became favorites of spider enthusiasts. They were found by Madeline Gerard, a graduate student at the University of California, Berkeley, who studies peacock spiders and a friend who went with her into the field. Gerard affectionately gave the nickname Sparkle Muffin to one of the species, Maratus jactatus, which has bluish and reddish stripes on its abdomen. She nicknamed the other species Skeletorus for its white markings on a black background, which makes it look like a bit of a skeleton. Number 5. The Filbert Weevil Filbert weevils are one of the most unusual looking insects on Earth. Belonging to the beetle family, looking at them kind of reminds me of a bird, due to its long hooked snout, specifically the kiwi though. But no matter how cute they look, they are considered as very destructive pests. The filbert weevil begins life in an acorn. His mother chews a deep hole in an immature acorn to lay her eggs. The deeper she drills, the more nut meat she can eat on the way to make a home for her offspring. Once the tunnel or canal is drilled out, the filbert weevil will lay one or two eggs in the safe hard shell for them to develop. This will not be the only nut used, as the females are capable of laying 25 to 30 eggs in a mating cycle. The larva eventually hatches safe and sound and surrounded by nut meat to feed on as they grow and mature. As the larva continues to grow, the fall season comes to the point of the oak tree dropping its potential new saplings. As the acorns hit the ground, the filbert weevils get the signal to emerge from its home as a full-grown adult. It is now winter, so to survive the cold weather, the newly born filbert weevil bores a hole in the ground so it can survive until the next spring. Unfortunately, reproducing means they destroy a whole lot of acorns, preventing acorn trees from naturally spreading. Number 4. The Diving Bell Spider The Diving Bell Spider is the only member of its group to spend its entire life underwater. But it still needs to breathe air, and it does so by building its own diving bell, a dome-like chamber it uses to trap air underwater. How it builds its diving bell is quite an amazing process. First, it spins a dome-shaped web between underwater plants. Next, it rises to the surface and traps bubbles using the fine hairs on its legs and belly. It carries them down to its web and releases them, gradually filling the dome with air. After a few trips, the spider has amassed a bubble so large that it can fit inside. The bubble acts as a home, a staging ground for hunting trips, and a nursery for its eggs. Amazingly, it also acts like a gill, allowing oxygen from the surrounding water to enter while allowing carbon dioxide from inside the bell to filter out into the water, and thus keeping the air inside the bell completely breathable. Number 3. The Hummingbird Moth Talk about someone having an identity crisis. The hummingbird moth is an insect that looks and behaves so much like a hummingbird that they're kind of difficult to tell apart from a distance. Not only does the moth flit about like a hummingbird, it even appears to have feathers in a tail, which are actually elongated hairs. Like its namesake, the hummingbird moth hovers in front of flowers, collecting sweet nectar from within. In place of a beak, it has a long straw-like proboscis that it uses to siphon off the sticky fluid. At roughly an inch long, this proboscis is nearly the length of the moth's body, so it keeps the appendage coiled up tightly when not in use. Believe it or not, scientists have coined a term to describe animals evolving to look like other species totally unrelated to theirs. It's called convergent evolution and can be seen in the similar body shape of fish and dolphins, the sharp spines of hedgehogs and porcupines, and the opposable thumb shared by possums and primates. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Today's pick is something that I'm sure either you or me would never want to see in our bathrooms. A massive spider. For some of you guys, it only takes a small spider to make you quickly run out of your bathroom, but our best pick can grow to probably as large as a toilet seat. What kind of spider is it? Find out next with number two. The Giant Huntsman Spider. Giant Huntsman spiders are renowned for their enormous size, with males able to achieve a leg span of between 10 and 12 inches, and that's as big as a dinner plate, by the way. They are sometimes called giant crab spiders or wood spiders because they like to live in woody areas such as forest sheds and wood piles. Despite their terrifying size, a bite from a Huntsman spider can be painful, but will not cause anything more serious than mild nausea or headaches. 
Another bit of good news is that these giant arachnids rarely bite humans, but that's probably because anyone who sees one automatically runs away in the opposite direction. They are also extremely effective natural pest control machines, feeding on various critters that we would consider pests. The Huntsman eats only a variety of insects, arthropods, small lizards, and frogs. They've even been known to eat mice, rats, and in a few rare instances, an opossum. The prey is not captured in a web, but actively stalked and run down with stealth and speed, which is pretty impressive for such a large spider. And kind of terrifying. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Orchid Mantis. While it doesn't actually live on orchids, the orchid mantis looks remarkably like a flower, with body parts that resemble petals. It lives in bushes and small trees that grow white and pink flowers. It is arguably the most beautiful insect in the entire world, and it uses its shape and bright flowery colors to attract food and fool potential predators. Though generally white, the insect can turn itself shades of pink and purple within a few days to resemble the orchids found in its humid habitat in Malaysia. It adapts to different conditions by detecting humanity and light and then changing colors to blend in. Unsuspecting insects that mistake the mantis for a flower may land nearby or even on top of it, allowing the pretty predator to snatch them up for a nice quick meal. Flying insects such as butterflies and moths are the mantis' main source of food, but it will also eat jungle fruits as well. Which entry on our list is totally new to you? Let us know in the comments section down below. Want to watch more videos about amazing creatures? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.